power of the Lord is here. And the presence of the Lord is here tonight. I'm posting this also on Facebook tonight. I just want to encourage each and every one of you to uh, listen to this, share it if you'd like. But this is the vision that God gave me. I felt led to put this up on Facebook and on here tonight on the special broadcast. Um, but a few years ago, right before I started past my first church, God told me, just gave me a vision, it was a vision and a prayer about Minnesota, whenever I was telling God I'd go and do whatever he told me to do. Well, I go when I do that, and uh, I had the vision, and God said Minnesota. Well, I've never, I was never at Minnesota in this time, I was, I'm from Kentucky, and uh, I thought it just come to my mind, you know, I need to go, because God told me to go, so I went. I think I had about $1,000 in my pocket at the time, didn't have very much money at all, especially for a big trip like that, it's about 1500 it's about 15 hours from here, so it's quite a big difference. So I went there, and I didn't exactly know where I was going, and the vision God showed me was about a house, a blue house with white shutters overlooking the water, and it was to be for sale by owner. And I had to go that week. If I didn't go, it wouldn't be there the next week. So I went that week, packed up everything, and went. And uh, got there. And I didn't exactly know where I was going, but I looked on the map. And once I reached Minnesota at a rest stop, and somebody asked me, well, well, where are we going? Do you even know? And I saw a bunch of water somewhere, and I said, there. And it was in a day or, or, or something like that. So it was an A. So uh, we went. Drove down there, pure ice. It was uh, even in November, I believe it was. Oh no, it was in August. The first time we went was in August, and that's when it starts snowing. So it was purely pure ice. We was driving on, but sure enough, we got there and just tears start running down my face when I saw a blue house, white shutters, needed some work, just like the vision told me, and prayer, overlooking the water. Knocked up to the house, and the woman said. That it was already sold and it would be there the next week. I went home kind of sorrowful the whole trip, questioning God. I didn't tell nobody else I was questioning God. But I was questioning God and I thought, God, why am I, why did you have me come all this way? And uh, he said it wasn't time, but he wanted to show me that it was true what he wanted. A few weeks later, I opened up my church in Litchfield. The first week we was open, we, we saw one saved. We saw a couple filled with Holy Ghost within the first week. Actually, it was the second night when somebody got saved the first time. Uh, it was in the middle of an ice storm, even still people showed out and it was coming. And the presence of the Lord was surely there. We uh, had that for about a year. And then the owner kept on trying to sell it from under me all the time. And I kept on uh, going through a lot with that, going through a lot of battles. And uh, one night before the final days of the church, I was asleep at 3 o'clock in the morning. God woke me up from a deep sleep on a, a dream that I had. Highway 10 leading off to Minnesota. All I seen was highway numbers. And uh, I wasn't even nowhere near that I know of Highway 10 because I don't remember seeing the first time I went there. So I got on the computer and I looked up Highway 10, sure enough there was one in Minnesota. You had to go through Wisconsin, uh, last time I went through Iowa, so that's probably why I didn't see it. So we had to go through Wisconsin, and uh, I went back up the second time, and it ended up raining in Minnesota, it was just right off the Mississippi River. It's on the Mississippi River, but it looks more like a creek, because I guess so far down there, but it was on the Mississippi River. It was in Brainerd, Minnesota. It was a small town. I mean, it wasn't very big for nothing. But, uh, God did lay that up on my heart, and I was aiming to get it. And I was going through a lot of things. I was going through a lot of doubts. I was just, you know, I knew the church was about at its last ends because it kept on trying to sell it. So I went home, and I was about ready to get ready for whatever God had in store for me. And uh, this is truly part of my testimony tonight that I've never shared with you as well as my vision. And 
this just tells you what all God has done in my in my life to get me to where I am today. And the reason why I'm holding on to this vision, I know it's will of God even at this very present point in time. You know, so many times people say, well, you didn't do it when you were supposed to. But just like I preached earlier tonight, sometimes we just got to hold on to that promise and that vision and we will know when it's time. And uh, I had some growing up to do. I had a lot of things I had to get in order in my life. And, you know, uh, I had to go through a lot of battles to get where I am today. But now I know that I'm ready and God's keeping on telling me it's time. So now I'm holding on to that vision. I'm holding on to that dream. And uh, I do got a website set up. It's uh, goldfundme.com slash New Hope Ministries. Get ready for it and just uh, pray about it and seek God about it. But I'm here to tell you tonight the vision is true. Hold on to your vision tonight. If you have a vision, hold on to it. I know I have a vision that God's implanted in my life. Yes, I had a whole lot of growing up to. Yes, I had to go through a lot to get to where I am today. But now I'm ready. God says I'm ready. And that promised land is mine. And I just thank God and praise God for every battle I've ever went through, every every trial, every triumph, everything I've ever got to got me to this moment today. You see, I actually proclaim to you that I'm ready. I'm ready to proclaim what God has in store for me. May God richly bless you tonight and always hold on to your vision as well. And I want to thank you for taking this time to listen to my vision and what God has implanted to me. And it tells you just a little bit about what God has done in my life and the vision that He's planted in me. And uh, if you would like to help out in any way, go to that website, gofundme.com slash New Hope Ministries. Uh, the information is there. Thank you, and may God bless you.